Gemini, hello, welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and attentions towards you, Gemini? All right, now keep in mind, of course, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Uh, uh, yes, mm, that was weird, Gemini, what's going on? That was it. Okay, anyway, check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777, and I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, thank you. see it too okay mm -hmm. yeah I know I know I know mm -hmm. go poo poo how about that all right <laughs> here with who you're dealing with um well it starts out either they are committed to you but they don't want to be committed to you anymore or this is unique business contract type stuff i will say it's very messy it's karmic it's twisted it's to toxic it's deceptive it's shady it's greedy it's secretive That's about it. Okay. So um, with who this is you're dealing with here, Gemini. So they start out really guarded towards you. Just full-blown walls up. Okay. And then they're saying that they're... So after this, they become emotionally unhappy with you and disconnected from you. So maybe only codependent off of you. And there's something that they know that they're going to keep doing to you that is extremely toxic, addictive, uh, deceptive, whatever the hell. Taboo. Okay. And they don't care. So, you know. And it uh, looks like here, it's for the sake of making things equal with you and money and all that. And they want to work with you, create, build, and then they don't want to invest with you at all. It's weird. So I think they're just showing their own position, like they have their own sense of security possibly here. Um, but right after that, it's like back to they do not want to invest. They don't want to grow, create, and they don't even know what to do. They're scattering. Uh, now they want to fight with you, compete with you, get aggressive with you, maybe literally like I don't know if it's jealousy. I don't know. Like, just get aggressive with you. Um, and then after that, it, ooh, well, there, there could be a, con a very unique contract in place or two, they're just not truly committed to you. I don't see marriage or relationship, but they have a commitment to you in some way, shape or form to where they're not about that life with you and towards you at all. They don't believe in you. They don't believe in what you do. They don't believe in what they do. They only care about taking money from people and from you. It looks like here that's what they're juggling and balancing and trying to figure out. And then, which is good. They were organizing themselves for like a day or maybe an hour. And then I don't know what happened. It's back to narcissism, ego. Um, it's back to no faith, no hope. They don't care. They have a God complex. They can do it all themselves. And then they there's a contract in place for the both of you, which is not going to end well for the both of you at all. It already is a shit show, unfortunately. And I don't know, they just don't want to make things balanced and fair here with you at all. Like, they just want to continue being of injustice towards you. But then right after that, they're like, okay, let me just move forward from this and just drop all this. And then they're starting to not really, I don't know if they don't know who they are or they don't want to be who they are. It's like they're fighting just being real, open and honest, um, like an authentic person. After that, they've just had it with you. They're so irritated. They don't want to plan or wait or do anything, but they also feel like they're missing out. And then they're getting irritated about 
not planning and waiting and waiting and planning. <laughs> And so it looks like here, this could be a business partner collaborator possibly here with you. There's something about work, business, money, finances. So there's something about working with you or just they go to their job and then they're in their strength. Okay, so let's see more here. And so what puts them in their strength is, uh, well, I don't think it's losing a shit ton of money because uh, that's horrible. I think it's more so using you, a community, society, everyone around to just scrap, like grab everything they can, rob it if they can, to get what they can out of you. They're doing this to you, Gemini. Just remember that, okay? So I don't, like I said, it's either they just like to be greedy and just use you for money. Okay, whatever. Um, or they really don't have any of that material wealth that they keep showing that they have, okay? Either or, they don't really want to try a new, you know, there's a leap of faith, there's a beautiful journey that they can go on, they don't want to go on that, and they'd rather just take the risk. It makes them feel confident, they don't want to face themselves, and now they don't want to go to work or make money or do anything at all, or be independent or self-sufficient. But then they're aggressive and defensive with you as if it's your fault, and so them being defensive and guarded towards you actually makes them happy, Gemini. Why? Because they're not telling the truth. They're lying to you. They're lying to themselves. And they just don't want to be honest for whatever reason. Let's see more here. Um, well, there's a lot of changes going on and whatever they're going through, they're meant to be going through all of this here with you. They're comfortable, they've reflected, and then they're back to being very pissy and aggressive and annoyed and threatened in their own position, money, power, wealth, status. And um, yeah, they're pissy and they've gone rogue and they don't want to do the work. Don't know. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, bye.